Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, March 28th. It's Wednesday in Holy Week, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 74 and Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 1 through 9. And now join me in singing the second verse of Humbly, I Adore. Taste and touch and vision to discern the fail. Faith that comes by hearing pierces through the veil. I believe whatever the Son of God has told, what the truth shall spoken, that for truth I hold. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot? Psalm 74, and please recite it with me. O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their ensigns as signs of victory. They have struck like those with axes in a grove of trees, and now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name. They said in their hearts, let us destroy them. They have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs, and there is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary of reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the head of Leviathan in pieces, and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, and the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember, O oh God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked. Do forget not the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O God, and plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish reviled you all the day long. Forget not the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those that rise against you continually increases. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot? A reading from the Lamentations. Chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. How Yahweh in his anger has humiliated daughter Zion. He has thrown down from heaven to earth the splendor of Israel. He has not remembered his footstool in the day of his anger. The Most High has destroyed without mercy all the dwellings of Jacob. In his wrath he has broken down the strongholds of daughter Judah, he has brought down to the ground in dishonor the kingdom and its rulers. He has cut down in fierce anger all the might of Israel. 
he has withdrawn his right hand from them in the face of the enemy. He has burned like a flaming fire in Jacob, consuming all around. He has bent his bow like an enemy with his right hand set like a foe. He has killed all in whom we took pride in the tent of daughter Zion. He has poured out his fury like fire. The Most High has become like an enemy. He has destroyed Israel. He has destroyed all its palaces, laid in ruins its strongholds, and multiplied in daughter Judah, mourning and lamentation. He has broken down his booth like a garden. He has destroyed his tabernacle. Yahweh has abolished in Zion festival and Sabbath, and in his fierce indignation has spurned king and priest. The Most High has scorned his altar, disowned his sanctuary. He has delivered into the hand of the enemy the walls of her palaces. A clamor was raised in the house of Yahweh, as on a day of festival. Yahweh determined to lay in ruins the wall of daughter Zion. He stretched the line. He did not withhold his hand from destroying. He caused rampart and wall to lament. They languished together. Her gates have sunk into the ground. He has ruined and broken her bars. Her king and princes are among the nations. Guidance is no more, and her prophets obtain no vision from Yahweh. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.